What's what's different about what you do today, perhaps, than what you what how you were trained uh, in the, the more classic family therapy tradition? I don't immediately impose a template of hierarchy onto the family. I don't say uh, come up with rules. Um, I don't assume that they're going to even be able to figure out how to do that. Um, uh-huh. if they even want to. Um, I, I basically work from a position where I think that that's artificial. I think that it was good for another age. I think it was absolutely right for the 70s, the 80s, and just part of the 90s. But uh-huh. that it doesn't feel authentic to most parents and most kids. Most parents can't do what we ask of them. Like I'm, I'm hearing all the time when people come to consult with me that the previous therapist said, just take away all the, their electronics. Uh-huh. Just do it. Uh-huh. As, if, as if that parent were able to do that in one fell swoop. Uh-huh. Um, the days of being able to impose this kind of authority onto kids as a, and onto parents as a therapist, I think actually don't exist anymore unless you're working within a structured program. Like if you're in a wilderness program, you can do that. Uh-huh. But it, in an agency, in an office, um, in a community center, you don't have that kind of buy-in or power. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's changed the way I approach families. And I try to basically uh, look at it from a perspective of I want them to have and create genuine authority, authentic authority, not one imposed by me. 